everyone, and welcome to a brand new episode of Lewis's Adventures. I'm Lewis, your host. In this episode, we will talk about my surf camp experience with Ocean Outfitters in Wildwood Crest, New Jersey. For this video, I will be learning to surf with a two-hour-long surf camp. I hope to get some interviews with some of the amazing people who run this program to include in this episode. I will also include some shots from my point of view on the board. Myself, my sister, and our mother take a cab from the Kings Inn Motel to get to the beach where the surf camp is held at by Ocean Outfitters. Okay, now I have arrived at Rambler Road Beach to get ready for this surf camp. So excited I am. Stay tuned. After getting my wetsuit from the truck, I meet a group of kids who are also taking the surf camp too. The kids were very nice and friendly to me as I told them about me making this video. The instructors for this camp are Dean, Shane, Mandy, Megan, and CJ. They all have us running on the beach, then stretching before we get started. And lastly, we practice paddling, popping, and standing up on the board before heading out into the waves. We are all assigned to different instructors with Dean, who I met two years earlier, to pay for a surf lesson that I took becomes my instructor. Early on, I have trouble managing the stand-up on the surfboard, which leads to Dean changing boards. Then I get a longer and larger board since the one I had was too short for me to use. Then Dean and I resumed the lessons. There were times that I wiped out a lot, but I was determined to stand up on that surfboard. After an hour of being in the waves, we all head back to the beach where we take a snack and drink break followed by a board meeting on the beach. As the kids wanted to go out further, but due to the fact there is a full moon tonight, which made it impossible, we have a discussion about riptides and how they affect people who are surfing or swimming in the water. This is my first. So, first thing we want to talk about is how rip currents are created. And they're created by waves and water. So first, what makes the waves? Uh, what makes the waves? Wind. Hold it. Wind. Wind. Wind makes the waves. So wind's blowing over the top of the surface of the ocean and it makes waves. And here's come some waves in. This, these are waves coming in towards the beach. And sometimes we have some sandbars shallower areas of sand piled up. And that's what makes the waves break, right? Because as the water gets more shallow, the waves break over the sandbars, and here we are surfing. We're surfing these waves. But as these wa this water comes in, it's got to go back out. So it finds a deep spot in between two sandbars, it goes back out, and makes a current that goes back out towards the open ocean. And swimmer or surfer not paying attention, we get caught in a rip current, we might start getting bumped out that rip current straight out. Uh, if we do, what do we do if we're getting caught in a rip current? What do we do, Joel? That's a really good option. One, that's one really good waiver. Once the board meeting ended, it was time to get back into the water to shoot some waves. Even with my knee hurting me, I didn't let it stop me from trying again to stand up on that surfboard. I kept popping up, wiping out, and progressing as Dean and I were getting closer to me finally standing up. After I return. Okay.
My knee's really feeling sore. Uh, just from rubbing? Or do you think like it, it, you think you injured it? Or is it just from rubbing against the board? It's just, it's just aching. Just aching? Do you want to catch a few more or do you want to take a little breather? I want to catch some few more. Ah, that's, the, that's the, what I want to hear. Have you ever banged your knee on the board? Yep. It heals eventually. Oh, it always does, yeah. I don't have no serious knee injuries. You don't? You've never had one before? No. Okay, you probably don't have one now. It's probably just rubbing against the board. Because your knees aren't used to rubbing against the deck of the board and the wax and stuff. How many more minutes, how many more waves do we have before we leave? Oh, we got about 15 minutes left. Yeah, I just want to use that 15 minutes wisely and then we'll get the interview and I'm on my way. Whoa, right off the back. <laughs> you know that always happens. I felt my knees get stiff. Really? Is it sore or is it uh... It, it's right here. Could that mean arthritis? I think you're too young for arthritis. Yeah. I think it's just because I'm not used to the board. Yeah, you're only 32, right? Mm hmm Yeah, I think you're too young for arthritis. Nose up to here. Hopefully I didn't tear a ligament. No, I don't think you did. I'd probably be in a lot of pain. Yeah. You would know if you tore a ligament. Yeah. I did tear an ankle lig ligament. Uh, I don't think you would have st stood right up after that. You were fine, I think. Good to know. Maybe just a little more forward on the board. Perfect, right there. Perfect. Now, when you go to stand up this time, remember you're doing, you're pulling your right knee underneath you, right? And then you're stepping up with your front foot. Once you step up with your front foot, keep your hands touching the board. I don't want you to let go and try and stand up like that. Okay. okay? Use your hands to push your foot up underneath you. Okay. Keep those hands touching the board until both feet are clean. Keep right here. Keep my hands right here. Yeah, just yeah. You can even touch on the on the pad. It might be less slippery. Okay. All right. I'll give it a shot. All right. Let me know when the wave is coming. Okay, here goes. see parasailing in the background. Yeah, they're way out there, aren't they? They're out pretty far. Yeah. You ever parasail? No. Did you want to? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I'd probably make a good video there. Oh, that'd be an awesome video. I'm thinking about also doing one about taking a helicopter ride around here. Oh, that'd be pretty cool too. Where can you do that? Over on the boardwalk. Oh, is that, you know, I think I've seen that before. That'd be awesome. Actually, I did ride in a helicopter when I was four years old, when down at Penn's Landing when they used to give out helicopter rides. Oh, yeah? That was with my father in the chopper. You and your dad in the chopper? Yeah, we flew over the Delaware River. Once this is done, right. one and done, this is going to make one awesome video. Okay, let's get a wave right here. Go ahead, paddle in for me, Lewis. Paddle in. Not hard. There you go, Lewis. Oh, right off the side. I think you weren't balanced on that one when you started paddling. 
As I keep recording my attempts, that shows my determination. Oh, yeah. Sam, so balanced right now? You feel balanced? I'm going to let go of the board. How's the board feel? Yeah, you're pretty balanced right now. Power sailing's over there. Oh, okay. This is the guy with the advertising. Yeah. Follow the wave. Are they competitors? Uh, not really. So they just supply There's surfboards. Shop. They sell clothing and surfboards. But they don't offer lessons like you guys do. Here's the wave though. Okay, here it goes. I got to stand on that yeah, one. You stood up on that one. Correctly. Correctly. Your pop up was perfect. You used your hands till the final second. You look great on that one, man. How'd it feel? Fine. And of course, I can't do no rest stroke for now because of this. Oh, because uh, it feels funny on your knees? Yeah. Uh, do you feel like you want to catch another wave? Yeah, I still do. Oh, let's do it then. That's right. I'm gonna make this good. Thank you. I think that was your best one. Thank you. And maybe one before we took a break. Yeah. I think that was that was another really good one too. Okay, slide the board just a little bit more. Can't pull up just a little bit more one more time. Yes. Okay. and soothing out here. It really is. Alright, let's check out a wave. I see you see the Thundercat go by out there? Yeah. Oh, we're, gonna, I, we're gonna have some Thundercat boat wave coming in. You mean that yellow boat over there? See, see all this boat weight coming in right here? Maybe we'll ride some boat weight here at the Jersey Shore. Okay. <laughs> what do you think? All right, we'll here we see. go. Ride. Here you go, Lewis. Paddle it, buddy. Okay. Paddle hard. Here you go. You got it, man. What time is it, Dean? It's 12 o'clock. Okay, that means we're done. Unless you want one more. One more. Uh, I'll give you one more. You up for one more? 
Yeah. Awesome. Not only would I want to interview you, I want to get a picture with all you. Yeah. The instructors and the kids too, if I can. Be nice. There's a good way. Oh, about the same amount of times that you stood up. <laughs> <laughs> right? You're even. Yeah. What do you think? About ten? Yeah. Ten white house and ten rides? Yeah. Does that sound about right? Yes. I actually haven't been counting, so I don't know for sure. <laughs> Starting to feel it? Yeah, perfect. Right there. Oh, you're good right there. We kept it up until it was time to finish with me getting better with each try. On my final try, I managed to stand up on the board while I also ended up wiping out in the process. But in the end, I've come a long way from the surf lesson that I took in 2014 with Shane's sister, Kira, who taught me how to pop up on the board. I plan to do a sequel to this episode next year when I take another surf camp with the amazing staff at Ocean Outfitters. I leave you with interviews with both Shane and Dean. Tell me who you are and what you do. Shane Moore and I'm a surf instructor. How long have you been surfing for? 11 years, half my life. What's your favorite place to surf in the world? Jersey winter. Thank you for your time. Can anyone surf? No matter the age? Anyone can surf no matter the age. It's just like I said, just their desire and their ability if they want to enough. How long have you been surfing? Uh, I started probably 30 years ago, maybe 35 years ago. What is your favorite place to surf in the world? Oh, Hawaii is my favorite spot for sure. Honolulu Bay and Maui. Lastly, what advice do you have for people with any kind of disability who want to take up surfing? Well, really, they can just do it as long as they try and are like you did today. We're ready to persevere as long as it takes. You can do it, right? Because you did it today, right, Lewis? Yes, I did. Awesome job, man. It was a pleasure having you today. Thank you for allowing me a bit of your time for the interview. It was a pleasure. Thank you very much, Lewis, for surfing with us. This surf experience was amazing, even better than the first time that I did it. It makes this trip even more fun. I hope to do more surfing again in the future. Until next time, this is Lewis signing off. If you liked this video, please hit the like button below and be sure to subscribe to my channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. As I always say, it's time for adventure. <laughs>